welcome back to Resource Slimes Devlog number 6 and let's get into some stuff. After we got the gem cutting station working with power and fluids last time, I decided that we need some other block entities as well. So I started with the functionality for the gem infusing station and that was pretty much just copying over and changing a bunch of code from the gem cutting station, but in the end we got it working at least for the most part. A missing texture block? That is boring. So I sat down and redesigned a new model for both the gem cutting station as well as the newly created gem infusing station and I think they turned out really well. While I was in block bench I also designed the two other block entities that we're going to need, the slime extract cleaning station as well as the slime incubation station. So even though those don't have functionality just yet, they do look pretty awesome. And there they are, our four different block entities. Looking pretty slick. What you probably notice on those models are the trays. While making the model, someone had a very interesting idea and I think it was worth considering. Are you gonna make the item stacks appear in the tray? Probably not. I would need a custom item. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't actually be that crazy to do. So it's a custom block renderer. It's actually very easy to do, but okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, Luke, just for you. And you know what? That's what I did. I made the item display inside of the tray with a custom block entity renderer. It was actually fairly straightforward and after getting the position right, we also needed some proper lighting for the item and voila! Come on, man. That's awesome. Thank you, Maddie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's amazing. Now we actually have this rendering perfectly. Like, bro, this looks amazing. After fixing some synchronization issues with the client by doing some custom networking again, we got the textures to display and they properly change. And because I loved it so much, I did the same thing for the gem cutting station as well. This time both displaying the item as well as the gem cutting tools and that is freaking awesome. Speaking of textures, we've redone some textures for both the raw citrine as well as the raw Sircon with a little bit of a sus easter egg and I really love them. The other missing textures are all still in the works. We're still workshopping a little bit on how exactly they should look, but once they are done, I am sure you will love them. But that already concludes this devlog right here. Catch me live on Monday and Wednesdays 6pm CEST on Twitch and I'll see you all next time. So yeah.